Ola from Mallorca. Welcome, my name is Blair and welcome to this week's Flow into Consciousness. Uh, we're going to just get straight into the practice of flowing and uh, Vinyasa Yoga is all about linking breath with movement. And when we do this, when we link the breath and the movement together, we can connect the body and the mind. Often we live in our heads and forget we've got a body until we maybe need to go to the toilet or we get hungry or something like that. So it's about connecting and bringing his body, uh, body and mind back into this kind of flow-like state. And we do it through vinyasa uh, yoga. So the, the main thing when we're practicing, if you're new to practice, you'll probably the movement will move, you'll move and then the breath will follow the movement. If you're more experienced, you've been practicing for a while, you'll be the other way around. The breath will create the space for the movement. Okay, but if you're newer, the movement will create the space for the breath. The main thing is just to move, breathe and practice and have a joyfulness to it as you go. Let's get going. Let's come into child's pose. Toes together, knees nice and wide. And then just drop your forehead onto the mat, reach your hands forward. Good. If you do have any knee problems, you could keep your hips higher. You could put a, a blankets or a block there. Good. Or just modify to make it work for you. Forehead down onto the mat. If your forehead doesn't come down, cross your hands. Just rest your head on your hands there. Good. Here we just, we get ourselves grounded. We come back into our body and we just breathe. We just connect to our breath. We notice the rhythm of the breath as we move into the practice. Great. From there, we're going to come up into a downward facing dog. Okay, so we just uh, press the feet up and down. Heels go back up and down here. Just kind of limbering up, moving in and out of the posture. Nice. Now from here, let's come forward into high plank. You want your shoulders over your wrists and your heels over your toes. So you don't want to be away here. You don't want to be short. You want to have a nice straight line. Shoulders through the hips, through the heel. Okay, push through the armpits and then press back downward facing dog once again. Great, now from here we're going to go to ragdoll. So we walk our hands back to our feet. Take your feet quite wide, grab your elbows and then just hinge at the hips and just bow and just swing from side to side. Okay, make sure the neck is soft and relaxed. Straighten your legs best you can. If you've got to have the knees bent, then do that. If you did have a little bit of back pain, you can have the hands on the floor just to take the stress off the back there. Okay, if there's any other variations you have, feel free to go there and do that. Nice. Yeah, this just opens up the posterior chain, the body, the back of the body. Nice. Now release your hands to the floor. Turn the heels in slightly. Malasana. Yogi squat. Yeah, deep squat here. You might need to be on your toes. Good. You might need to have a block under there. Just make it work for you. This just opens up the hips and the glutes. Hands to the heart. Yeah, nice. So from here, we're going to move into extension of the spine. So slide the hands forward, which I call it the lumbering cat. Now, the lumbering cat, the knees are on the floor, but the thighs and hips are off the floor. It's very passive. Okay, so there's no active trying to pull your belly in or anything. It's just passive here. We're trying to relax the belly actually. And then just leave the collarbones nice and broad as you just relax through the lower back and let a bit of an extension come into the spine. Okay, and we create this awareness to deepen our consciousness. Nice, so from there we just go back. We tuck our toes, I call this the lumbering, the pouncing cat, sorry. Head comes in, come forward, lumbering cat. Now we start to bring movement and breath. Exhale as you go back, head comes in last. Inhale as you come forward, head lifts up last. So you're just kind of moving through the spine. Yeah, don't rush, but don't get stuck either. Keep moving, keep breathing. Yeah, now if you know Ujjayi breath, you can start to bring Ujjayi pranayama in or Ujjayi breathing. If you're newer to practice, just breathe through the nose. Focus on breathing through the nose all the way through the practice best you can. Yeah, if you know the Ujjayi breath, yeah, fire it up. Nice, so from there we go back, downward facing dog. Nice, press your legs back, spread through your toes. 
round into your hands. Focus on grounding the inner hand, so the index knuckle, and press through the heel of the thumb to lengthen the arm bone. So the head just drops. Good. Hollow out the armpits a little bit. Beautiful. Nice. So from there, take a breath in. Exhale your breath. Good. You're going to lift the heels, bend the knees, glance forward. And then step or walk to the front of the mat. Halfway lift when you get there. Feet can be together or hip width apart. Nice. Fold forward. Exhale. Good. To rise up. High mountain pose. Inhale. Reach your arms up. And then Samastikiti, hands down into mountain. Okay, now we're going to do some sun salutations, the classic traditional sun salutations. Three times, three sun A's, three sun B's. So let's begin. Breathe in, reach up, lengthen the side of your body, gaze through the thumb. Fold forward, exhale, lead with your heart. Head and chin come in gently at the end. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine. And then step back, high plank. Good, shift forward a little bit, drop knees if you need to low plank. Now cobra or up dog breath in. This is up dog. Nice. This would be cobra. And then back down dog exhale. Mm. Good. You can also miss out the chaturangas if that's too much for you. If you're newer to the practice. And then just through time the body strength is up. Take a breath in. Breathe out. Lift the heels, bend the knees, step or hop forward. You can jump forward if you want. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. High mountain, breathe in, arms right up to the sky, gaze to the thumbs. Samasakiti, hands back down to the side. Reach the arms up again, palms come together. Exhale, fold forward, breathing out. Good, hip chin comes in, but no strain. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Palms are flat, step back or jump back, high plank to low plank. Cobra or up dog, I'm just doing a little up dog here. And then back in to downward facing dog. Remember, don't be uh, jarring the body, make it nice and fluid, in that flow like state. Take a breath in, breathing out, bend the knees, look forward, step or float forward, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. High mountain, breathe in. Sama Sahiti, breathe back up. Great. Let's do sun bees. Bend the knees. We start off in chair pose. Utkatasana, we call it. Palms press, gaze at thumb. Fold forward, breathe out. Chin softly comes in, straighten away. Halfway lift. Low plank, float. Or just step. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Good. Now step the right foot forward, back foot flat. Warrior one. Reach your arms up to the sky, lengthen. Low plank, exhale back to the mat. Good. Up dog or cobra. Downward facing dog pose. Left foot comes forward. Warrior one. Inhale your arms up, lengthen the side of your body. Exhale back to the floor, low plank. If you're taking two breaths for that, that's okay. Inhale and then exhale, downward facing dog. You know, the eyes rest on one point. There's a softness to your gaze. Yeah, and then you just open the ears and listen to the sound of your breathing if you can. Now, if you can na narrow the throat a little bit to get that oceanic sound. Long breath in. Exhale. Bend the knees, look forward. Float the first step on the inhale. Fold forward on the exhale. High mount, uh, sorry, Utkatasana on the inhale. Samasahiti on the exhale. Utkatasana, breathe in. Fold forward, Utanasana, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Low plank on the exhale. Step or jump. Up dog on the inhale breath. Down dog on the exhale. Right foot forward on the same exhale. 
reach up on the inhale, low plank on the exhale, up dog, breathe in, downward facing dog, breathe out, left foot forward, warrior one, back foot flat, inhale, low plank, chaturanga we call it, exhale, upward facing dog, back home, down dog, ah yeah, breathe, Nice, just press your legs back, press your chest back to your thighs. Press the top of the thigh bone all the way to the back of the room, the back of the heart, wherever you are. Yeah, take a full breath in. Exhale. Bend the knees, look forward, float or step forward. Inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Utkatasana, breathe in. Samasahiti, breathe out. Last round, inhale, Utkatasana. Fold forward, breathe out. Halfway lift. Low push up. Upward dog, inhale. Downward facing dog. Right foot, warrior one. Breathe in. This time, warrior two. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Beautiful. You're going to reverse warrior two here. Reach your right arm up to the sky. Nice, you can gaze up or just gaze down. Skandasana, back off the mat. This is high Skandasana. If you've got more range, you can come down to low Skandasana. It's up to you. From here, we're going to go to reaching warrior. So we push off the back foot, reach the right hand forward, gaze over the palm like a warrior looking at its goal or its target. Lands a little bit deeper. Side angle, right hand to the floor, left arm up and over. Now the hand can be to the inside or the outside, or it can be on a block or a book. Bend into the front knee, extend the upper arm forward. Oh, now ground your back foot, now feel your breath and hear the breath. Nice, and one more breath in. Nice, exhale. And then easy twist, left hand down, right arm up to the sky. Good, warrior two, back foot flat, helicopter round, warrior two again. Straighten your front leg, shorten your stance slightly, reach forward, triangle pose. Fingers down, palm down, arm up. Now you can bring your hand to shin if you need to. Knees up to the thumb, so that strains your neck, just gaze to the side or down. Now ground your feet. Spread your toes and stretch them out with the feet. Beautiful. Reach your upper hand forward, gaze to the upper hand and pull the left hip back away from the upper hand. Reach the upper hand forward, take a breath in, exhale, easy twist, left hand down, right arm up to the sky. Amazing, good. From there, Modified side plank, drop the back knee down, turn the back foot out, grab your big toe or your knee and lift up. Modified extended side plank. You could grab the big toe if you want. Nice, pretty challenging though, so a knee is perfect. Push the left hand away from the knee, flex your toes, press your hips to the side. Awesome, and then dancer's bridge pose, foot behind you. Nice, reach your upper hand forward, gaze at the palm or the fingers of the upper hand, and then press your hips high. Point your right toes back. Take a long breath in. High to low plank, vinyasa flow, low plank. Up dog, downward facing dog, left foot forward, keep flowing. Warrior one, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Reverse warrior two, breathe in. Skandasana, back of the mat, breathe out. Reaching warrior, inhale. Side angle, left hand down, arm up. Now we hold the pose, we breathe and we hold. Good, remember to breathe freely. Don't strain, extend the upper hand forward, ground your back foot, feel and breathe. Nice one. Good, now take a breath in. Empty the breath. Easy twist, right hand down, 
left arm comes up round your back foot again warrior two nice from warrior two straighten your front leg shorten stance if you need to some people don't have to reach forward hand to the shin floor or the palm to floor gaze to the upper hand remember each side of the body is very different so yeah just acknowledge that stretch your hands away from each other broaden the collarbone nice reach the upper hand forward good extend your right arm forward pull the right hip back stretch the mat with the feet try and extendly rotate the thighs if you're more experienced nice and then easy twist right hand down left arm comes up beautiful drop the back knee turn the back foot back side angle take the knee or yeah if you want you can grab the foot beautiful nice i'm just going to hold the knee push the hand away from you it's going to push the shoulder back into the shoulder joint keep you safe nice take a full breath in good dancer good pose reach point the toes gaze at the fingers feel free here nice make sure you're still breathing with a freeness to the breath from there, high plank, low plank, you can do it with your knees down, a little cobra if you want, and then back, downward facing dog, ha, ah, beautiful, nice, it's a little flow, feet together, right leg to the sky, bend the knee, open the hips up wide, stay here, or you can flip the dog over if you want to, good, nice, hips are high, little bit of a back bend here gaze to the finger nice from there let's go all the way back step the right foot forward between your hands drop the back knee down interlace your thumbs reach up low crescent lunge low crescent lunge reach back nice come forward elbow over the knee palms together tuck your back toes keep your palms there or you can open the arms into revolve crescent lunge. It's quite a strong pose. So you can stay here or you can keep your palms together or you can take the hand to the inside if you need to. But keep bending into the front leg and then bring the gaze high if possible. Lengthen your tailbone backwards. Lift your pubic bone to your navel just to stay stable in your core. Nice, now take a breath in and then warrior two all the way back round you. Straighten the leg, turn the toes to the side, pigeon toe the feet a little bit, interlace your hands behind you, breathe in, straddle, hold, breathe out. Nice, drop your head down, rinse the shoulders slightly, softly through the neck. Nice, now you can hold these poses a lot longer if you want, but just hold them for like two or three breaths here. Great, release your hands to the floor, lengthen the spine, hands to the waist standing you're going to bend and face the front step the back foot out to the side so the hips are square right hand lower back left hand to the sky revolved triangle left hand to the inside or the outside a block is phenomenal here if you're newer pull the right hip back reach your hand high gaze high spread your toes three whew, two take a full breath in and then both hands to the floor. Good. Step the front foot back slightly and step the right the back foot forward. Squat down. Hug the knees if you can. Crow pose, bakasana, little arm balance. Optional. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. Okay, but if you want to do it, palms are flat, knees up the arms, gaze just in front of the mat, come forward, claw the mat with the fingers toes together, point your toes back, heels to your butt, straighten the arms around your spine, breathe in, step or float back, breathing out, nice, <laughs> up dog, breathe in, Whew. down dog, breathe out, ah. feet together, keep flowing, left leg to the sky, bend the knee open, stay here or flip all the way through, press your hips high, knees to the fingers, push your right hand away from you great from there step the left foot forward low crescent lunge so step it forward drop the knee 
interlace your thumbs, reach your arms up, lengthen your tailbone, base your spine down, lift your pubic bone a little bit, arms back, shoulder blades together, come forward, elbow over the knee, tuck your back toes, and then revolve present lunge, other side, you can open the arms, you can bind if you want, any variation, gaze, whoop, oh, <laughs> now he's a bit wobbly here, Awesome. Take a breath in. <laughs> Warrior two. <sighs> I could blame the uneven ground, but you know, uh, I should just concentrate more probably. <laughs> Straighten your front leg. Turn the toes to the sides. Nice. Reverse namaste. I'm just going to do it the other way so you can see me. Reverse namaste. The palms come up here. Okay, palms together. Good. You could also make fists or grab the elbows if you need to. Okay, if you can, do this one, do this. Good, take a breath in, and then fold forward, breathe out. Now, it's a big shoulder opening. It's fantastic, but it will take you time to get there. So don't rush the process, please. If you're new to this practice, it's all about the practice. <laughs> if you're more experienced, then pay attention to the details. Heighten your consciousness, deepen your consciousness and your awareness through just this practice of vinyasa yoga. Release your hands down, halfway lift. Nice, hands to the waist, come up. Spin to the front. Good, square the hips off. Left hand to back, right arm up. And then hand to the floor inside or the outside. And then reach up. Good, if you're more experienced, the inner thighs will spin inward. If you're newer, just get a block, your hands down, and do what you can. Come into a breath. Make sure the mouth is closed. Make sure the eyes are meditating on whatever point it is, whether it's the upper thumbnail, the lower thumbnail, or a dot on the floor or the wall. Meditate on that point. Nice. Both hands to the floor. Step forward. Bow your head down, Utkatasana this time, breathing in, nice, slowly lower, 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 we go to boat pose, Navasana, good, now you can hold your thighs there, you can have your hands behind you, do whatever you can to maintain it, three, two, and then feet down to the floor, great, from there, you're going to bring your right heel in, yeah, and then from there, just gently fold all the way over the front leg. You can bend the front knee, Janu Shuzasana, bow the head. More experienced, get your left quad to fire. Kneecap to lift, bow the head. Nice, or you can use your big toe, you can bind if you want. Mm. Amazing, back up again. Switch sides, right leg out, left heel comes in. Nice, so be cautious of your knees, if you get any knee issues, just back off a little bit. Lengthen and just gently fold. Bow the head down. Don't worry about it if you're struggling to fold forward. Over time, the practice will open. The body on me, I was really, really tight. And with a bucket load of injuries to my practice, about probably 16 years ago, I sat the regular practice. I practiced for about 10 years before that, but the regular practice started about 16 years ago. I've been teaching for about 15, 14, 15 years now. Nice, come back up. Good, straighten the legs. Bring the right leg in. Take a little twist, right foot across. Bend the left knee. And then twist around to the right. Call it kingfish, half kingfish. Spin, twist, and breathe. Don't overstrain. If you can go deeper and bind, you can. Mm. Nice, back to center. Straighten your legs, left foot comes in across the thigh, bend the right leg, take the spine and twist. Back hand keeps you upright. Yeah. Please expand your rib cage as you breathe in. Nice and narrow your waist as you breathe out. Again, expand, pause, lengthen. Narrow the waist as you breathe out and open and twist. Couple more times if you want. 
easy. Back to center. Legs out in front of you. Feet together. Hip width or even the width of the mat. Reach your hands high. Fold forward and still bow your head. Bow the head. Knees can be bent if you need to. If you're really struggling in the forward fold, keep the seat the width of the mat. It's going to really help. I love it doing it this way. Nice. So you've got your feet together. More challenging quads on thighs and internally rotate as you bow. Nice. Good. From there, come back up. Hands come behind you. Bend your knees. Feet about hip width of shoulder width apart. Reverse bridge pose. Hips up to the sky. Softly let the head go back. Breathe. Nice. And then release and lie down into Shavasana. Woo. Beautiful. Nice. And you get here and you let go of any control of the breathing. Relax your belly. Relax your face. Your eyes, your forehead. And then let the breath be natural. Nice. Now the body, you're looking to get the body fully relaxed. Yet the mind, we want the mind fully alert. So it's not thinking, it's not planning, it's just paying attention to the body, to the sounds of the environment. Totally relaxed here. Breath is neutral. If you have the time, please stay there for, you know, maybe five minutes, maybe longer. But if you need to get going, then you can come roll to the side, bend your knees, roll to the side, whatever side feels best for you. And then come up to a comfortable seat on your knees or cross legs. Hands on the thighs, keep the eyes closed. Again, just take attention, relax your belly, your face. Listen to the quietness of the natural breath, so the ears are listening to that. Right, and then we bring our hands to our heart center, or just the center of the chest. And at the end we say Namaste, and the meaning of Namaste is the consciousness within you is the same consciousness within me and everyone and everything else. All the same energy, just different lights to light up. And when consciousness becomes aware of itself, this becomes yoga. It also is love. When consciousness is aware of itself, it's love. And we bow to the thumbs, each other we say, Namaste. Woo, thank you. Um, as I say, practice this for a whole week. I'll have another video next week for you to practice again. I'll change you up a little bit. The most important thing is you just get your mat out and you move and you breathe. Whether you're new to the practice or returning to the practice, or an experienced practitioner. It's all about just practicing and getting your body moving and in tune. Even if you've got little injuries, work with it. Just, I've had many injuries, still carry some of them to this day, and the practice just makes me feel so much better in my body. Thank you for joining me to flow into consciousness. Have a beautiful week. Adios, amigo from Mallorca.